Hello and welcome, this is Tom from Bug Studio and we are back a long hiatus, not been on here for quite a while. Um, already got two viewers, welcome to the stream, hope you're enjoying it. Um, and yeah, so basically we're back, I'm Tom from Cog Studio, um, not done a lot before if I'm totally honest, started it, didn't get into it, now we're back, trying to get back on top of it. To be honest, just going to enjoy it, I enjoyed streaming a lot uh, when I did do it, and you know, you know it is time, uh, effort, it just flags and you, you don't keep up. But we are back, got a bit of time, got a week off, booyah, and uh, hopefully we're looking at just doing some streaming in... Uh, the days to come basically and hopefully getting back on it got a new setup as well also decorated the room so happy days it's looking a lot better you can see my records which i'm actually really proud of um i'm just checking stuff out on the camera there and we actually got a ring light as well which if you do stream and you don't have one i really recommend one very very useful very good um so yeah super duper useful Anyway, so as you can see, we are playing FIFA, we're on FIFA 21, doing something a little bit strange, um, it's took a lot of effort to actually put together, um, a lot of hard work, uh, and basically what we're doing, we're going to do a career mode, um, I'm not a huge fan of playing online with FIFA, but I do very much enjoy the career mode and the, um, taking the team from the bottom league of whatever country we're in to the top and Champions League football, so on and so forth, but we've actually created our own um, spin on this one and we're doing our own actual team like and I mean own kits own club even own starting year there's a few kind of like things that I've not changed so for instance you can see the existing 1907 we've changed that for our spectators you can see the line it formed in 2021 uh, we're doing it as a, a live um, situation so like the information will be from when I was creating it it's not kind of made up it's accurate to what it is today um, but yeah, as you can see there, we've got our own kind of like setup. When I say we've created our own club, what I mean is we've actually just replaced an existing team in the game. Um, so I think we've used Spell. Um, I think I might do a little video on the actual um, setup of this fully. I'll just give you an overview for now, but basically I'll, I'll show you kind of like what it is I've actually done and that kind of thing. Maybe even put a tutorial together or link in the tutorial of where I've got it from. It's not as straightforward as it seems. Um, also, I should say this is on the PC version. You can only do this on the PC version um, because of being able to edit the files and so on and so forth. Um, but what you can do, um, basically, basically, just enjoy it. It's pretty awesome. You can create your own club. You can create your own kits for the the kit website. Um, the easiest thing was probably the kits as well, to be honest. So if you're not really into changing your own um, football team or anything like that. Let's say you start a career with, I don't know, Tottenham or something, and you want to change their kits every year, you can actually do that with the, the FIFA kit um, website. You can export the files. Basically, you're overlapping anything that's in the game. Um, and you can basically change your kits each season if you wanted to, just to give it that realistic feel. You could do it for the entire league as well, or the entire nation, or if you had the time. It'll take a lot of effort, granted, but it is doable. Um, but nevertheless, we will get into this series. Um, and like I say, if you want to look at that, check out the YouTube page of Cog Studio, um, and we'll we'll do some sort of tutorial and kind of like proper guide on it. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's just an overview. I may explain a few things here and there throughout the stream. Um, but overall, that's kind of like a quick glimpse into what you're kind of expecting from this. Our aim with this, we're going to start in League 2. We've got a very, very low spec squad. Uh, the one thing I wasn't able to change is the money value. Uh, I should also note that we're actually using a, a realism mod. So we're using the um, realism mod by Fiverr. Um, a very, very good mod. Uh, it's currently free as well. It's gone free. I actually posted it a week before it came out um, to the public. Um, and it's literally like two pound. It's a, a Patreon kind of like website deal. Very very good. Um, I wanted to just it's really really set me a lot longer than I thought to actually set up this Coke Studio kind of theme. So it's it's took a long long time. Um, yeah, it's gone well. It's gone sorted. It's it's all it's all good now. Um, so yeah, that with that mod, not only is there a realism in terms of the career mode and how the career mode works for like the simulation uh, or uh, simulation type things, I should say. 
but also the you know the money value, the value of the players, the things like that. The gameplay has also changed. The gameplay is very difficult, and the cameras also changed. So you might expect to see something different when we actually get into playing a game. It might take a while before we get to play a game. Um, but yeah, it will be very different from the usual FIFA that you know, but also very different from the usual FIFA that I'm used to playing. So it may take a while for me to get into the game, um, but we'll see how it goes. So as you can see, we're going to start with Cog Studio. So what I've done, I've also replaced, I think it's Forest, Green Forest, um, in League 2. You can't change anything in FIFA, you can't add anything in FIFA when you're editing it. You can only change what's there, basically. So if, if the basic is there, you can change it. After that, you can't add anything to it. Um, so yeah, so let's run through what we've done. So we're going to be in Cog Studio, Ring League 2, as I said already. Coach UFC was formed in 2021 with the intention to rise to the top ranks and achieve the very best of what football has to offer. That's our aim for this series. Um, they currently compete in the FL League 2, the fourth tier in the football league system of England. Coach UFC is based in the city of Birmingham within England. The football club were created in 2021 and are looking to make a name for themselves this season. Um, so yeah, that's the overall gist of even the theme of the series. Um, but also that's just a little... Uh, from the fact that you get at the start of the game. The city's in Far Ferrara. Don't even know that, I, well, it's in Spell because the team's Spell, but I don't know why I didn't change that. Uh, but little things like that. And the one thing I have noticed, I've done a bit of a demo play on kickoff mode and things like that. Um, the team announcer will be called Spell. Can't change that, can't change audio clips, or at least I haven't found a way. If anyone does know a way, drop me a link, drop me a chat, that'd be great. Um, also, if you are watching and you want to just drop anything in the chat, just say hello, that'd be great. We'll try and respond. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. We've already created our manager. I basically just called it my own name because it makes more sense. We're going to play on Legendary. Um, I'm kind of expecting a lot to go wrong because the difficulty and the way the game plays is just completely different. I'm going to set the games at 5 minutes, I always play at 5 minutes, if I'm totally honest, don't know why, I just like it to be an even time, I feel like 5 minutes each half is quite good. We're going to play in English Sterling, because as you know I am English, um, we're not going to have a financial takeover, we're going to start from the very very bottom, make it as difficult as we can for ourselves. Um, that being said, we've changed the squad in which Spell are, Spell, we, we don't retain the players of Spell, none of them are staying, but we have changed the club entirely. But we'll talk through that when we get it. Um, set the club and player strictness. We're gonna set it to strict. We're gonna, like I say, it's 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 about difficulty. This career mode is, and if we put it on the highest difficulty, the, the better, in my opinion. It will be a lot more realistic and a lot better. We're not gonna bother with international um, teams um, because I just don't feel there's much point in this series. This series is about Cog Studio FC and managing England or Wales or anything like that isn't, it's just going to take the focus off of them. It's not, it'd be different if this career mode was about the manager in which I was, but it's not, it's about the club, so we're just going to stick to the club, keep it simple. Um, we are going to enable the first transfer window, but realistically we probably won't be able to buy anyone, and even then, with the players that I've put in the squad to start the game, we don't necessarily need to add players I wouldn't have thought I don't really know I've not played with them so it's hard to tell um, we're gonna pick a stadium generally we're just gonna focus on a stadium we like to play in um, ideally I want quite a big stadium but a basic kind of setup we don't want a massive stadium we just want something simple that's pretty simple it gives us all weathers it's got quite a nice uh, cap so we'll rock with this, that's pretty decent. So we're just, what can we call it? Um, so we're gonna stick with something simple, we'll call it the Cog Studio FC Stadium. There we go, just checking I've spelt that right, I think I have, there we go. The, Q the Cog Studio FC Stadium. That's pretty decent, I like that, happy days. Um, so yeah, let's advance, may take a while, um, like I said, with the squad, basically, it was going to be too much if you take over Spell, uh, Spell's squad. 
you, you know, you'd have 70 rated players, you'd have players with the potential of 80 plus and so on and so forth. Um, and basically just, it, it, it wasn't what we needed. Um, we also wiped all our career modes, I just realised. I panicked then when the thing was there. Um, but yeah, we basically started from scratch with the players. So we're at a point where, um, can you do a number? You can't do a number, can you? So we'll put S1 for season one. Happy days. Um, and yeah, with the mod as well, everything's changed in terms of the monetary value of things so for instance as you can see you can only get a very very small amount of money for actually winning the um, pre-tournament things and stuff like that um, also it's quite odd with the stream I've had to put my camera on the side so I'm facing the screen and the screen's above so it might look a bit weird on camera I can't center my camera unfortunately and get the light right so this is the best quality I can offer you guys at the moment I'll look into that uh, honestly I'm quite enjoying the fact that you're there I, I prefer it um, so we might not change it, but we'll see how, see how it goes. But yes, as I was saying, um, the monetary value is basically less in this mod. And it's brilliant because it adds that difficulty yet again. Um, so as you can see, normally you'd get, what, a million? Uh, this kind of thing. You literally get a fraction of that, a, a quarter if not less. Um, and actually, we're still going to go for the highest one because we want to make things difficult, but, you know, we need the money too, we've got, to, we've got to pay the bills really, so we'll take that one, see who we're playing, i literally hardly ever heard of any of the teams, um, as you can see, that's, also your guys kind of like first look at the kit, um, it's quite a snazzy kit, designed it myself, pretty happy with it, can't lie, um, but that's just a little uh, tablet source there saying that we've appointed Higginson, as you can see that's myself, kind of trying to base it off me, it's quite difficult. Um, I was going to try and replace it with like a a, a, a player that has a face, uh, but I found it more difficult. And if I'm honest, there wasn't anybody that jumped out that should be the role. Um, I myself am a Tottenham fan, so I was trying to get like someone who would be a manager, like Scott Parker and things like that. Um, but he doesn't have a face in the game and things like that. Um, this mod does bring a lot of managers with faces into the game, which is very useful. But honestly, it just it didn't seem worth it. it. It wasn't the aim of the series, so might be something we'll look in the future, but not something we're going to do now. Um, so fixes have been revealed. Any more club news? No, so it's just the fixes. Transfer windows begins. David Silva has gone uh, to Raul's associate dad. Um, yeah, basically. It's a natural kind of like, it's basic stuff for the career mode. Don't know if you guys actually ever play career mode, but if you do, you'll know where we're at right now. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. So we'll read the emails first and I'll show you the squad. Um, so we've got the European Cup going on, so that's the, the um, pre-match uh, tournaments and things going on. That's what we're in. The transfer market's open. Uh, we have a youth squad. So. We already have a youth academy report. What we might do is actually just fire everybody and fire our scouts and our academy um, scouts and things like that and basically start from the very scratch. Naturally, with career mode, you get um, things like that offered already. Excuse me. We'll look at the squad, at what we're offered. See, so straight away, we're offered a, a player with a potential of 72 to 96 rated. So he's going to be at a value of, it's got to, no, that's actually, he's looking like a really, really good player there actually, in fairness to him. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be worth, what, like, five million plus? So when you think about it, I can just hire him right now, sign him to professional contract, send him on, and uh, we'll get basically five grand for him straight away. Um, it defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do, it, it, it just it takes away that realism. Um, that's also not a bad one, he's got quite a high potential. That one isn't great, we can't actually sign him saying that, he's only 16, or can we sign him? Yes we can sign him. He's got a tick next to his name. I don't particularly know why he's got a tick, but uh, he has. But anyway, the point is, we'll basically overpower our team straight away with money, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to get rid of them, sadly, which is a horrendous mistake, but We'll, we'll focus on that when it comes to it. We'll get rid of everyone. 
that one weren't actually that bad of a player to use if I'm totally honest, but we'll carry on. Um, so we have now the visions and expectations. So that's how we read this. Basically, uh, basically they want us to reach round 32 of the FA Cup. Might that might be quite a challenge actually. Uh, we've been three seasons um, in League Two, gain automatic promotion. I can deal with that. If if we get mid table this season, I'd be very happy. Saying that, that's the actual aim for this season. So if we, if we do get mid season, I'd be very happy. Um, you might think that's very much a low goal, but when you see the squad that we got and also the changes in which the mod makes in terms of the gameplay, I think you'll you'll be with me on that one. Um, youth squad, youth term in terms of youth development. Within two seasons, signs one new player to the senior team, playing in one match, either part of the starting eleven or coming on as a sub. So we've got two seasons to do that, and it says three there, but we just literally fired them, so we don't have three. So we'll need to go get some sort of youth staff and youth players on board. Potentially, the also aim for this team is to use players with faces. So we're going to limit ourselves to only signing players with faces. The only players that we can't use. Um, although the only players that we won't use that don't have a face are youth squad teams. Um, so any any players that we bring into the game through the youth squad, we can then use. Um, basically, just adds that bit more kind of like realism to it. I very much like playing with players that have faces. It, it, as I say, it's just a realism thing for me. I like to keep it as real as possible. Um, got another one there. Get 12 wins in home league matches. So I mean that's that you should be doing that every season if you're even a football club, professional football club, that's what you should be doing, so hopefully we can do that. We probably won't have a lot of objectives, that might be it, but we don't have any continental ones, we're not in that anyway. Um, that's just an overview of what we've already done. Financial, that could be tricky. Keep higher salary growth under 10%, so that's also another aim that we're going to do. We're going to try and keep money at a very low in terms of outgoings, as well as ingoings and things like that. Although we're going to get the ingoings as much as possible, but outgoings we're very much going to limit it um, and then we also have within two seasons increase your club worth by 50% through player sales and competition prizes winning awards etc that could be very difficult um, I'm hoping when we start the game here it reevaluates the club worth because as you notice at the start it was like 25 million euros if it bases off that because obviously I've changed the squad and it's like loaded through that that might be a bit of an issue, we might foul that, hopefully we don't. The criteria of being fired is a lot more harsh as well in this mod, so potentially if you lose three games in a row at home, or I think it's four or five actually in general, you could be sacked on the spot. So every point is is a, 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 a must in this career mode. Which is going to be a very interesting to start because I'm not used to playing in this game. Uh, with the mud anyway. Um, so we've got our first scout report. Again, we might as well take Borden away. Um, honestly, not a lot of players useful. Jamie Bowden is not too bad. I don't think he has a face though. Um, so we're going to just get rid of all of them. Start from fresh. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Institutions, he's basically just telling us who he is. Need to know. So, next step. Let's take a look at the squad. We'll, we'll do squad and then we'll change the squad numbers and things like that. So, originally I went with a 4 3 3. Personally, I like 4 3 3. I'm going to change that though. I'm going to change it to be uh, 4 1 2 1 2 in some sort of fashion. Um, just going to grab some water, excuse me. But yeah, um, I don't think. 433 is going to be right. It's too advanced for these players and it's too advanced for the kind of like league. We need that basis to, to work off. So we'll change it to 4112 in a moment. But we'll run for the players and the players we've got. What I've tried to do, I've tried to get two players for every position, um, mainly so that we've got the rotation ability needed, but also to kind of like limit um, overcrowding in spaces and, and give us that opportunity to build in positions that we need, especially when we're adding the youth squad element to that. Um, but now that might be slightly different because we'll change the position, so we'll change formation. So it might be might be slightly weird. Also, we're going to change the entire thing. We're trying to change the squad kits uh, in terms of numbers and also the captaincy and things like that. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll run through it. So we've a striker, we've got Telford, Dom Telford, who basically he is quite young. Um, he's not as young as you think. He is injury prone, um, which isn't great. But he's going to be potentially our main striker. Um, we've got Kemp um, on the right wing. Um, Ch Chinini? Yeah, so you'll also notice with me I'm not very good at pronouncing names. Um, I didn't realise he could play as a centre mid though, that's quite useful. Um, what I should also say is these players don't have, tend to be lower than I think it's 65. Uh, we've got one or two that are over 65. All of them have faces, which was what the difficulty was in terms of putting the uh, squad together. They all have a potential less than 70. Not of them have potential of more than 70. So the idea in that is that we're not overfunding our squad right away. These players, they'll do the job, but this team that we have together is actually the worst team in the English league right now, um, or the professional league at least, throughout the country, not just throughout League Two. So we've got a challenge on our hand. In theory, this team should be relegated off their first game, let alone any other game. So, we're really, really changing ourselves, basically. Um, we've got Rosa, I think he's a, normally a West Ham player, who again has got quite a lot of positions in him. Uh, Willock, not the Willock, Arsenal's Willock. I think I think he's ready. They're, they're either brothers or cousins or something, but I, know, I think there's three of them. There's very, all of them have got potential. He hasn't got a lot of potential on FIFA, but I think in general he has. Uh, Slattery, Callum Slattery, who potentially will be our captain. Um, we're going to change that now actually in case I forget, but he will be our captain. He's probably the one that's got the most experience, he's very level headed. Uh, I think he's from, I can't remember if he's from Southampton or not. It might be with an S, I don't remember, it might be Reading either, that's not with an S, but either. Uh, we've got Wilson as a right back or right wing back, like Furs, Aquilino, uh, Akinola, um, good centre back. We'll put also play as a right back, We've got Woods as a centre back, Doctor as a left back, Rose as a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers are very limited, don't have a lot of goalkeepers. Galindo as a, a backup keeper. Uh, Envasio as our, our other right back. McCourt, Dreyer, Ito, I apologise if I say the name wrong. Uh, Hodges, Afalena, and I probably could have selected names I could pronounce, but I can't, so let's rock on anyway. Francis, LEC, McLean Cannon, I think it is, Isgrove, Goodridge, and Payne as a count. Uh, so that being said, we might as well change our formation right now. So let's have a look at what we've got. I mean, I think we've got a lot of wingers, we've got a lot of centre defending mid or midfielders in general, but I think this one is probably the best one. Uh, we'll put Payne as our main cam. He's actually our highest rated player, he's 65. Um, we'll keep Broder on the bench, definitely. Um, let's change for him. I'm gonna, I think, personally, I prefer these two um, as a centre back. Uh, although, wow, he does not have a lot of pace. Hmm, might have to keep him. So we'll play Wilson, Woods, and Doherty. Uh, Francis can also play a centre of midfielder. We'll look at the bench later on. Rose, definitely the ratings are obvious. Kemp, so yeah, we're going to have to play. Let's stick on the, the highest rated, just as a, a basis, a better platform to work off. I don't really want to focus on ratings for this career mode. I want to focus on performance and my ability with those players. It could potentially change entirely. Um, You know, they may have a very high rating, but I not be able to play with them at all. They may have a very low rating, but I'm amazing with them. So we'll focus on that and not the actual kind of um, player rated spectrum, if you like. Tep will look off. Do you know what? Because of the position, I actually prefer him as a striker. So let's stick him up as a striker. We'll have, we'll have a striking pair as that. We've got our backup left winger or left mid. So I think we're sorted with that, that's our, that's our foundation. We'll have a look at the bench, and it's going to be on the bench that we're going to use. 
So I mean, I think majority wise, that's pretty much sorted. We got a right. So we got a centre right back. If we take him off and have him, we've got a centre back and right back and a left back there. So that's pretty good. We'll have a, a replacement centre defender and a replacement centre back. So that that's quite positive. We'll keep him. He's got a right mid, a right back, and a camp. So we take. You know, we cover a lot of positions there. Same with this dude. So that's quite positive. And of course, we need a backup striker. Um, I'm thinking though. You know what? We might be better off. Although he is only a right mid, isn't he? Yeah. We'll keep we'll keep Kemp there for now, and we'll just change this up so we're in the right position in terms of. I'm very OCD as well. You'll notice I'm changing it all so that the positions line up as if they were going forward. Quite an addiction, but it's literally how I cope. <laughs> um, so this will be the natural formation. Ultra attacking, we might go a bit different. We might do three-five-two. Uh, so we won't change. We'll change the positions when we're actually in need of that uh, role. Oh, I've done the wrong thing here. Let's go back into that. So that shows that. So three, five, three. Attacking wise, uh, do you know attacking wise, we might be better off just leaving that as it is, or is that might be a bit better? Mm. You know, what? we'll make that as it is. I don't see the need to change that it just changes the focus of the players isn't it so yeah one more constant pressure that's exactly what we want that'll be balanced and pressure on heavy touch defensive wise we might change defensive wise we've got five in the back i'm not entirely sure how that will work with the players on the pitch but basically our, our wingers will become wing backs essentially so We'll stick with that, and it just basically means that we can lob the ball forward and uh, have a better chance of actually counter attacking them and, and getting them goals. Uh, defence wise, for all defensive, we're going to want everybody to be on the ball for that. So we're looking definitely at five in the back. I mean, Again, 5 3 2, puts them three centre midfielders just in the back. Is there a one with two centre defending midfielders? There isn't, is there? No. So, yeah, that's probably the best way of looking at it. But as I say, we'll change the axe positions when we're in that situation, save Mr. them around. Um, would like to change. Yes, we do want to save changes. Um, so you can see there we've got a transfer budget of 600 and a wage budget of 6k. As I said we're going to replace him like the youth staff and the squad and things like that. We probably won't be able to afford a new player. It'd be nice to bring a very much like older player to the scene. Um, that'd be good in the sense that it'll give us kind of like a leader and that kind of thing. Um, whether we can afford one I don't know. The wage would be in question there. but. We'll, we'll focus on that when we get to it. We'll probably play with the players we got for the, the pre-tournament and uh, kind of just adjust what we need at the time, just see how it goes. Um, but yes, we'll look at our scouts. So right now we've got three scouts, and our three scouts are three star, three star, two star. I've been thinking about this. I might leave them as that. Uh, we've got a three star guy in England, so that's definitely where we want it, and someone else in Sweden, and a spare one for a two star. Uh, we'll probably change his destination, um, so let's recall him. Where else can we put him? So we can send this guy somewhere. I think we might focus on just Scotland and Ireland for now, just keep it local kind of thing. Uh, it's very rare teams like this bring players in from other countries, so um, or at least 
inquiry in terms of overseas and things like that. So we'll focus on our own kind of like area for now and then we'll, we'll build up to the bigger expenses and stuff like that later on. Um, I'll just keep checking the stream in case it's gone down. Quite nervous, the internet went down today, so that was hilarious. So much fun. Um, youth staff, let's look at our youth staff. See, we've got a one star, which that's actually perfect and exactly what we want. Uh, so you know what, we'll, we'll, we're happy with that. We'll set up a scouting agency with that and we'll, we'll do it in England, that's what we want. See, look at the cost of it, so it's 176. We've only got £600,000 budget. And ideally, youth squad is probably the best way we can bring players in. Uh, so it might be worth doing a six month, but then you look at that and it's like, yeah, it's all our budget gone. Uh, so it might not be worth doing that right away. Um, Do you know what? I changed my mind. Let's do it right away. So we'll have a look. We'll take that. We'll do six months. We won't look for any particular type. We'll just look for anybody we can. And basically, we'll, we'll we need to take a lot of players from that. We need to get quite a few, if not for reserve or anything like that. Just just players to, to back up our current squad. We've not got a lot of players. We may have positions in terms of we can fill each position that's available. But we've only got one or two players for that position. So they're going to be swapping in and out all the time. So it's going to be quite hectic in terms of um, squad management and things like that. We're going to run out of stamina quite a lot of players. And I think the actual um, mod itself will really reduce the stamina and things like that. So it might be an interesting thing. So we'll spend the majority of our money on that, focus on that. And then the rest of it, potentially, we're going to have to keep for serving that purpose. So, I mean, we've changed it, we can get quite a lot of money. We've got quite a lot more money than you think for a League 2 team. So, I didn't know how to change that in the, the FIFA thing, so, the FIFA mod editor thing. So, we're gonna have to accept it. We have got the worst squad, so we're gonna have to be quite sensible with our money. And also, we've got to limit it in terms of spending it, I feel, to a point, so it's not unrealistic. We don't wanna just basically start a squad from scratch and just pump load of money into it, it's a bit of a waste of what we're trying to aim for. So we'll keep that at 70 30 and we'll try and look at maybe getting one main player if we don't find anybody in the youth academy. Um, but right now we'll focus on um, the players we've got and see in the pre-tournament how we get on basically. But yeah, slightly advanced. We're going to do a training day. Let's actually do a training day, show you guys a bit of gameplay. I don't think the training will change much in terms of um, the mod. I think it would be very simple. Should we have a crack at? Let's have a crack at free kicks. So let's do direct free kicks. One thing that I have changed on the mod is the ability, um, it's the locale. So basically the reaction in which the computer has towards you on the, on the field when you're playing. And I've got the aggressive one on. Purely, that's just for jokes. It, it's it's going to be quite funny. It is realistic though, so you'll see a lot more red cards, a lot more harsher fouls, a lot more free kicks, and it, it's like petty things as well. I've also got handball on and um, things like that. So uh, it's in the box as well. So if, if it touches the hand, basically there'll be a, a penalty straight away. Um, I like to play with that. I like the realism, as I say. So let's see who has. Good free kick. Surely Slatter will have a good free kick. And pain. The next one, do you know what? It's gross. McLeany, let's have a go at McLeany. Again, I don't think I got the names right, but we'll go with it. So let's do our first one as free kick. We'll change this one. Needs a bit more shooting practice, I would have thought. So. Let's do, a, let's do a champion attacking scenario. That might be useful. Let's get all of our strikers. We already use one striker technically, so we'll put good old Dom up there. Let's put this guy and we need a striking role, don't we? I mean, Rosa, is he? Oh, we've actually quite a lot of selection here, so let's put our wingers as well in that case. Two. And then. Let's put this guy. I'm not convinced about that guy. I don't think he's going to do that well. I don't know why. 
but I just got a, a bad feeling about him. But we'll have to take it on the chin. What else have we got? Let's let's focus on passing. See what the passing is like. Um, let's, do, let's do a hard one. We're gonna have to do a hard one. Probably should have saved that for the wingers, but yeah, not the smartest idea. Let's have Doctor and Wilson, and then we'll have a, a centre. Mid player, maybe. Oh, Rose, actually, we've got to give him some training time, haven't we? I think he's going to be the best player. I really, really like him in real life. I've seen him a few times. Um, and he's, he's really, really good um, in the youth squad and things like that. Um, but yeah, let's give you guys something to watch. Okay, so have a go at this. I haven't actually. Don't watch free kicks. That's decent though, that's not too bad. I haven't embarrassed myself. Of course, this is a lot easier in the training than it is in the actual game. Go for this one over here. I do have that one on site, that wasn't very good at all. I have the um, shooting thing. I'm not entirely sure I have it on when it's in the game, if I'm honest. But Oh, that! I'm not entirely sure how I got points from that. I don't think it went in, but we'll take it. What? Hey, that'll do. Lovely jubbly. So we've already got what we need to get an A star. Um, so yeah, I mean, my personal favourite one is doing that. So the ball dips down and it hits the target. Beautiful. I'll try and mix it up a bit, especially you can. I also remember you can actually change the player, so where the player stands. Oh, I've messed that up. Oh, that was surprisingly good for a red one. A red uh, hit. Oh, ooh. I, okay. Surprised didn't hit anything there. Let's just change it up a bit, see what happens with this. Okay. So yeah, trying to learn the physics and stuff like that, I've never been very good at these free kicks. That's going to be worthwhile, I imagine. Ooh, just above. So, let's just try. And this might be weird, but... Oh, that's definitely the wrong button. There you go, keeper. Have a bit of ca catching practice. Good shot, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh... Yeah, I really need to remember to start watching the chat. Loving the logos, thank you very much. Yeah, you might have seen the uh, the logos there for the custom thing. We'll show that more often when we're in a game. Um, yeah, essentially everything has been replaced. Uh, I probably shouldn't have been looking at my phone there. Everything's been replaced and basically we're at a point where it's all our own stuff. Ah, oh, hey, that I've got in. Ah. Um, Wow, you can't sprint. So the sprinting, I mean, you may be watching this and thinking if you're a FIFA player, wow, he's bad. The Honestly, the, go on, yeah, there we go. The realism of the, the mod is totally different. Like, the physics of the ball are actually different. It's insane. It's really good. Oh, was that outside? It's really good, but it, it's confusing to get used to. So... I may look awful in the first few games, but I promise I'll, I'll try and get better. At times, you can just tell that I'm not very good though. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Oh, go on. Oof. Also, I'm very tempted to say that... That was nice. You're, I'm only allowed one attempt at the training games. I'm not too sure how many training games I'm going to play. But in terms of these ones... You tend to get better reaction from your players in terms of um, potential and stuff like that. So I might only limit myself to one training attempt. I think normally you have three. So obviously this one's going to be very poor. We're not going to get what we need for that. He's going to be offside now. Wow, that went in. I was quite amazed by that because he absolutely scuffed it. And as you can see, they're already they're actually aggressive in the training game as well. So if you imagine what it's it's like in terms of the game. Boom, there we go, that's what we like. I mean, we could salvage this. 
if we keep doing that. But we're not, we're going the way. Yeah. It's not going well, this folks. Finish on the high? Ooh, no. Good save. So that one, I got a D, not the worst. But yeah, we're going to only have one attempt. Let's see, let's see how that goes. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, getting used to the actual game is going to be quite difficult. Oh, go on, get in. There we go. But it will be a journey. Don't know if it will be a good journey. Oh, haven't I got the ball there? Go on, whip that to the back. There we go. Better it. Oh, no. Ooh. That wasn't good at all, was it? Come on, a little short one. That's what we like. Um, I don't tend to do... Wow. Hitting straight isn't that easy. Oof. Uh, I don't tend to do skill moves. Go on, get it all there. Oh, he's missed it. Go on. Yeah, hitting straight with this game mode is really, really weird. There we go. We're doing better. We've probably got the points that we need. Oh, I didn't even see the net there, I wasn't looking. Outstanding. So we've got enough points. I'm happy with that. Ooh, I accidentally chipped that. I wasn't meant to. Oh, I hit the post there. We've got an A with that, that'll do. But yeah, the gameplay is definitely really different. Um, quite hard. Uh, Entertain though, it's, 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 it's hard in the sense that I want to learn it. Uh, so what I've had here, it might take a while to actually for this to kick in, I've noticed. The, the mod when I was testing it took a while to actually launch. Hopefully it will launch and won't crash, if it does crash. Yeah. Let's hope it won't. Let's hope it won't. But yeah, hopefully we can play our first game. There is a few things wrong, so like you saw there on the news article, it was undefined. Just I've, I've broke a few certain things like that, where the information is being picked up. As to why, I'm not entirely sure, but it, it just kind of happens. We've got another training day. Actually, what we need to do is change our weekly schedule and things like that. I might focus on our first game first, see what we kind of got, and then change the development and things like that. Uh, we've got a great message here from the captain. Great boss on behalf of the whole team. I want to welcome you to Cog Studio FC. So that's brilliant. We'll say future some team. We've got plenty of work to do. Or we've got good to meet you too. Uh, we've got plenty of work to do. You know, we're not here to mess around, mate. Callum, we've got work to do. We've got a crack on, lad. Come on. Get in there. You're our captain now. You need to lead us to glory. We're going to skip the training day. We're not going to uh, force you guys to watch that plane again. Um, but hopefully that means the similar to do yes so now it's basically going to go quicker we already had our first transfer offer from Bolton for our, our backup keeper um, I mean we can't afford to lose him to be honest he might not be our main keeper but we can't not have a backup keeper that's just horrendous so we're going to reject that offer we're potentially not going to loan out any player that's of face value anyway um, we'll probably loan out a youth player if they don't fit in the squad. If, if, for instance, we've got quite a few strikers, we might not keep a striker around. Um, like I say, we change positions between two strikers, don't we? So we might not have to keep a striker. But uh, in terms of the actual uh, position, if, if we've already got three of that role, we might not get a number one. So it was better to just loan them out. So we've got to use that system carefully. So we've got our first game. I'm going to try and not skip everything in terms of the cutscenes and stuff like that so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, we'll save now. And uh, got to keep saving regularly, of course. Uh, we'll play the game. Yeah, I'll show you guys the, the kits. So that's our home kit, basically, as you can see on the left. Um, simple red. Our colour scheme tends to be red, black, and then a bit of gold just to lighten things up. And then with, with our, like, um, third kit, or our second kit, so yeah, we, we've got a way kit being purple, just to jazz it up a bit, which, it's the same kit, it's just different colours, because I just, I generally just like the look of the kit, I like the, the colour, I like the cuffs, things like that, 
And then with our alternate kit, just in case we can't play purple or red, just pure black. But we've got, still got the uh, two-tone tops. I really, really like the kit. Um, I thought about changing the kit in terms of each season and things like that. I can do it. I haven't tested it, but I'm quite confident I can do it. Um, so yeah, we can do that. I'm going to back out of this because I've just realised we haven't done one thing. And that is set up the uh, squad numbers. So let's sort out the kit numbers first. So Rose, he's going to be our main keeper. So he's going to be one. We've got Wilson, he's going to be two. He's going to be our main right back. Woods, he'll be number four, I think, for us. Up number five for good old Sam. Doctor's uh, going to be our main left back, so he can be number three. Slattery, I mean, does it make more sense for him to be eight, I suppose, or six would make more sense? I suppose six would make more sense. Uh, our main right mid. Would it be 11? Let's make him 11. Uh, no, no, let's make this guy 7. That makes way more sense. He's going to be our main cam, so it'll be a 10. He's going to be our number 9, of course. One, two, three, one, five, six, seven, eight. So we haven't got an 8 there, have we? Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about making him number 8, to be honest, but we'll work with that. Uh, and then we'll just go from 12 upwards from there. We're not going to use number 13 because it's just a weird number and I don't like it. Don't ask me why, I, I just don't get on with it. So yeah, 15, 16. I don't like having squad numbers that are like stupidly, like ridiculously high. Like that one below there, 92. Why on earth would you have a 92 in a, a squad number? That's ridiculous. I probably should have gone the other way as well because that's going to take a while. But. There we go, 19, I want 20 for that one. But yeah, we'll try and keep our squad more numbers very low. And we'll also try and keep the numbers consistent with 1 to 11 for the main, the start of 11, with the players that I think should be that. Uh, Roman, I hope I can send you some good kit as sponsorship. Uh, thank you very much mate, oh, I hope so too. Yeah, I actually have a lot of Logitech, uh, Logitech stuff, so... You know what, I think everything's Logitech, apart from my screens. Um, so the camera's Logitech, keyboard's Logitech, and mouse is Logitech. I've got them wireless, um, so that's Logitech. Uh, mouse, can't lift the mouse up right now, but... Uh, that is Logitech as well. Um, yeah, I just like Logitech kit. My dad actually used to work for them, so... It's kind of like uh, keeping it in the family, I suppose. Um, six, there we go. So we've only got 26 players in the squad. Um, probably need a lot more than that, if I'm totally honest. Uh, also, just go back to the squad here and change the roles. We'll leave the tactics and everything the same right now. We'll probably change that at a later date. I'm just getting used to the kind of game, seeing what we need. Um, surely, yes, he's got 60. Ooh, Payne might be the better free kick take, you know. He is more accuracy and more finishing. But we'll, we'll put Slattery on him and uh, see how he does. Penalty is definitely going to be uh, Telford. Yeah, Payne could be our free kick take, uh, our corner take. Then. So that's happy. We sorted with that. Uh, we'll save there and we'll play the game that we've got next, our first ever game with Cox Studio FC. So we'll kick in, well, we're probably going to want to change the kits, aren't we? They're actually saying that. It's not the best kits at all. Well, mm, yeah, we'll play in home kit. I feel like we've got to show off our home kit first. That makes perfect sense. So there we go. Let's get our first game on the way. I'll try and. Uh, I'll try and win. Whether I will or not is another question. It might be very uh, weird with the new mod, but we'll see how it goes. Not a great start in terms of that. 
I've also muted the um, sound and things like that for copywriting and, and stuff like that, so you won't hear any music or anything like that. But hopefully you guys can hear the sound of the game. I hope it's a good balance as well. If not, let me know in the comments to try and sort it out. But as you can see there, you can see our custom made uh, flags and things like that. Basically, um, as I say, you can only replace what's there in the game with the mod. So I've just basically edited what I've extracted from the game and kind of like made it up. I'm really proud of my main flag. I've really, it's very simple. Um, also, I've tried to keep it as simple as I can because I just think it's more effective. Also, I'm not that like creative. Um, but yeah, you can see that it's totally different. It is Cog Studio. We've not got anything that kind of like is still spell other than the name of the, of the club in terms of audio. Very cool seeing the kit that I've designed in the game though. It is very, very fun. Um, do you really, really like the kit as well? But yeah, look at that. Our Cog Studio uh, banners, things like that. We've got a bit of purple in there for the third kit, or the away kit I should say. And everything else pretty much is black, white and red. Just trying to keep them with the theme. Um, so it's a quick, bit quiet in the game. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully that's better than not hearing me, I suppose. Depends if you like me or not. If you don't like me and you don't want to hear me, uh, probably shouldn't watch the stream, but you know, that's not very good self advertising. Let's get the kick underway. Um, one thing that I should have done is edit the players, actually. I should have edited their boots and things, so I might look into that. But yeah, as you can see, the, um, the camera, if you're not used to FIFA, is totally different. If you are used to FIFA, you'll notice already. Very different. Uh, but yeah, let's kick it around. Let's try and get a good game going. It's already a lot slower as well. I've, like, it's very, very weird playing this because it's just a lot slower. We might through there. There we go. That oh no, that wasn't very good. Oh, they're talking about me. We're gonna have to defend this here. We need to need to get the ball back here, guys. Come on, there you go. Tackle him. And he's kicked it out. We put a little bit of pressure on there. We love you. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, that's a bit short, isn't it? Oof. Ah, oh, lovely. That's what we like. Go on, pass for it. Keep it. Ref, he was blocking me off there. All right. You'll also notice that in the um, the scoreboard, I've actually got Cog Studio FC there. Um, I didn't abbreviate it, I, uh, so it might look a bit like packed in. But I, I just couldn't think of an appropriate abbreviation. Like Cog didn't really work. CSF didn't really work. CFC didn't work, that's like Chelsea's one, so we can't nick another team, so that's just weird. Uh, pop it over. Oh, that's a bit long. Ah, not very good there. Uh, also, with the mod, you've also got the BT Sport HD in the top right. I'm pointing on the screen as if you can see it, but yeah, it's on the top right of the screen, just to make it a bit more realistic. I mean, you're probably not going to get a, a League 2 team in on a BT Sport. TV channel, but it's just something better than looking at the EA Sports logo, it's just not that interesting to me. Uh, we've also took away the names on the bottom left hand screen, normally you would have the team names of your team, whatever side you're on the pitch on the one side, and then the opposite position, the opposite team on the other side. Um, so yeah, it's all that way, and as you can see, it's just hovering above the actual players just to give me potentially more screen space and stuff like that it's just nicer to see the entire 
that was a bit aggressive, mate. Nice to see the entire uh, pitch and stuff like that, especially with the mod. The pitch looks a lot better with this mod. Put it there. Oh, I thought Tom. Go on, Dom. Go on, Dom. Ooh. Yeah, we need really need to focus on scoring some, getting some chances here. Oh, that was well done, Woods. Well done. And he's gave it away. Go on, Keats. Nice one, Rose. Back out straight away. Okay. Through the legs. Oh, he's done well there, to be honest, to get that. Oh, that's... Oh, duck tea. Yeah, there's also a... In FIFA, if you're not aware, there's a thing that basically forces errors. That's a lot higher with this mod, I think. Uh... So you'll see things like that where players just kind of like randomly kick it out. Oh. Basically I'm going to blame it on that if I ever do a pass run. Yeah, quite a quite a restricted game lately. 32 minutes in. The time goes quite quick on 5 minutes to be fair. But it just means we can have more games and the pressure of making the goals count is even more but yeah are we going to be the first to score in our first game oh or are we going to concede well offside there I'm quite surprised that's offside in fairness definitely is offside We've also got the custom goalkeeper kit. That basically stays the same for each kit, but it's just green, just so it's a completely. Uh... Go on, pop it over. Bit short. Ah, oh, that's foul ref. Oh no, did I give a foul away? Oh, okay. Go on, get the ball. Well done. Go on, let's just control the ball. He's made a good run there. Go on, on the volley. Oh, good save that. Good save. If I'm honest, I was trying to go for the other side, but wasn't having it. Great first touch that. That was just that was that was good goalkeeping. In fairness, all right, corners. Corners are a bit weird with this mod. Hopefully, we can make use of it. That's quite good. No, I always kept it in though. Woods, how's a crap? Oh, honestly, I would have preferred the free kick there, ref. Now we're not all the back, so go on. Oh. Did I oh no, okay, foul there. I'm not entirely sure what that was for, but we'll take it. Oh that wasn't very nice. We'll take that free kick to be honest. Okay, we won't take that free kick. I thought I pushed the button to take the free kick, but apparently not. Oh, I've let him slip there. That wasn't good defending by me. Oh, bit lucky there at half time. So, I mean, we've had a chance or two. Uh, quite difficult to get used to when you're used to playing the, the normal FIFA. So, Ooh, we're breaking away. I mean, if we get a draw in our first game, I think that'd be a great result. Uh, getting the win, especially when we're uh, on top of the game, uh, should be should be our main aim. Let's be honest. We should win. Uh, that was probably our best chance. Actually really, really well taken by Telford there. Um, so yeah, the other teams there. I mean, it is the pre-tournament. We don't really need to win it. It'd be nice to have just that bit of extra money. Uh, but we just want to get used to playing the game, really. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Commentator wasn't a fan of the, of the first half, apparently. Okay. Oh, oh, he's just took him out there, ref. So, I mean, I don't know if the player got yellow carded, actually, from the previous time. I don't think he did. I and mean, this guy isn't going to get yellow carded either. Maybe he's being a bit lenient because it's a, a pre-tournament. But, yeah, that was just... He just took him out, really, didn't he? That was a bit harsh. Okay, just got slattery. We're going to go for a shot. We might as well. 
That's ah caught by the keeper there. Yeah, that's too far away realistically. We need to be a lot closer for that to, to work in terms of digging. But uh Oh, we might oh that pass wasn't great. Might be worth making a few substitutions. I think we can make six on a pre-tournament game. Uh, so we can just test out a lot of the other players, things like that. Uh, but we'll see. Ooh. I was going to see we'll see how this plays out, but it didn't go anywhere. Go on, go out. Alright, happy days. So, 55 minutes, got quite a lot of the game left, but we're going to make some subs just to see what the other players have. I've been impressed with uh, Talford, definitely. Um, Payne, not so much. Uh, so we'll take him off, put Rosa on, see what he can do. Um, Slattery, again, I think he's been pretty good, but we'll take him off from court, see what he can do. I think he'll be a lot more defensive than anything, because he can play as a centre-back. Um, should we leave the two sharks on? Do you know what? We want to go for the win. We'll leave it at that. We'll see what these guys can create. And uh, we'll give it a few more minutes until until we change it. But uh, yeah, let's go for the win here. Let's try and get something at least. Oh, that was a bit of an interesting pass. Oh, that was unfortunate. Got it back though. There we go. Come on. Okay, no time for flashiness. I don't know what that was, but it was not needed. Go on, get the ball, lad. Well done, Woods. Caught. Fresh pair of legs. Oh, and a stunning ball. Oh, what a good save. What a stunning ball there. From literally his first touch of the game. And uh, that's the first time we've seen this guy actually on the ball with a chance. Takes it takes it quite well. Not not the best. Probably could have got it more in the corner. We'll go for another uh, corner here. Try and get it on Big Sam's head. Oh, not quite. Got a ball. Have a whack. Oh, not bad at all. Was that our other... Was that Rosa? That was our... I think that was Rosa, wasn't it? Yeah, look, number 12, must have been. Oh, bit of a curl on that. So that's both of our uh, subs coming on, making a difference to the game, which is what we want to see. Let's try and get it on Sam's head again. We've done really well there. Go on, Sam, lad. Ah, oh, Sam's just got dropped there, ref, to be honest. But we'll have to carry on. Also with the ball. Passes to Idgrove. He goes through. He takes the shot. Oh, and it's a penalty. He didn't take him out, ref. He didn't take him out. We could have scored there, if I'm totally honest, but we just got took out. That was uh, a brilliant bit of, of gameplay there. Oh, you know what? That's quite a harsh penalty. He's ripped his top. I don't know how that happened. But uh, I didn't know that, that was... Was that just a glitch or what happened there? Um, new feature. I'm not entirely sure that was a penalty, but we'll take it, we'll take it. He's earned it, so we'll take it, but we're trying, that's probably not good. There we go, lads, our first goal, it's a penalty, probably not something we wanted, but I feel like we definitely earned the um, goal. What on earth are they doing? Well, that was awful, let's never do that again. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure it didn't install a Mortal Kombat Mad Max. And I'm, I'm quite sure it is very aggressive, though, in fairness. Um, not something you see in FIFA every day. Um, imagine Mortal Kombat being in FIFA. That's what would be quite scary. Just a, a beheading every now and then. I mean, in FIFA, the, in football at least, some of the players at all have just been beheaded. So I guess it would be more realistic than what's actually like in FIFA. So now we just need to control the game. We actually might have another chance if it controls it. Always controlled it quite well there. He goes for a shot. Oh, it's off the post and in. There we go. That's what we want. Beautiful bit of play. A bit dodgy at times. Let's see what celebration we do now. That's much better. I prefer a celebration like that rather than spinning out names of your arms and all that nonsense. Uh, but yeah, that was a very, very good goal. I feel like we definitely deserved that one. 
that was oh do you know what that was actually very lucky but he's it, done really well it even went off the post in the end so extremely lucky well took though i'm very impressed with don he's on for his hat trick we've got 20 minutes left but we're going to take him off because we just want to preserve his fitness really uh so we'll swap him up with a striker we'll keep on cannon uh we'll change ito for our other left back and you know what while we're at it we might as well change all the other players just to give them a chance um woods became our captain because Callum went off so that's not too bad but we'll change change take him off just his fitness isn't doing too great put francis on least just to give him a go see what they're like but also just to keep the fitness of the players that we took off no point in wearing them out yeah, very good goal that, I'm impressed with that. Also scored in the 69th minute. Hey, hey. No rude jokes, please. I like that, he's clapping on the side, that's very nice. The striker that we just put on, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name. Actually, let's see what his name is. What's his first name? Oh, it just tells me his surname. Aflena? We'll call him Aflena. Uh, he's actually a West Ham player, so we've got quite a few players from West Ham in the team already. I don't know why that happened, it just kind of did. Uh, yeah. I mean, overall, we're winning 2 0. I'm not entirely sure it's the most convincing wins, but we are winning 2 0, so got to take what you can just try oh that weren't what I wanted to do come on let's just control it ah oh, beautiful beautiful change there to the wing there we go is Grove on the ball he's bringing it in he might as well have a shot oh he saved it but we got a rebound and again, our substitute scores. Oh, he's in the mood to, for more. Look at that. So uh, we'll take that. Very well talk. Open net. So it would have been pretty bad if he missed. Do you know what? In all fairness to the goalkeeper, that's very, very harsh on him. He's, I feel like his team should have uh, got that. And in all honesty, that was quite close to the keeper as well. So he looks very young, doesn't he? With a face. Uh, but yeah, 3-0, a lot more convincing. Um, we can probably just leave off now, we just need to control the game, see it out, make sure there's no injuries or daft things happening, no yellow cards. I said that as I took him out, that was an accident. I'm actually going to get really annoyed if I, I get yellow card for that, because I literally said no yellow cards as I did it. Good bit of defending. So I mean, based off this, the team that we've currently got on the pitch was probably better than the initial starting squad. Um, pass it out. Oh. oh, that was very nasty. That. So yeah, I'm very impressed with Rosa, I'm very impressed with also um, Telford, so they're definitely going to be starting for me I feel. Payne, we might give him another chance at the start of the game, uh, we were warming up to the game to start as well, so we might give the first team squad another chance in the next game, and then just see how it is after that. Um, yeah, we've got a free kick here, so maybe we can make something of it. Let's have a look at the power, who has the most power? So yes. Six to five. So that's that's the most. John, we're just we're freeing a lot. So we might as well just have a crack, see what happens. I mean, that weren't bad. It was going top corner. It was just it was still slow though for the amount of power I put into it, but Oh Wilson's done very well there to dribble past him. Again. Oh, very well. Gonna try and get it to the wing. Oh, that's not quite gone well. 
Four minutes of added time. That's quite harsh. Oh, get that. There you go. Well done. Pass it through. Oh, not quite. Full time there, a well earned victory. I think in the end we deserved the victory. Uh, they're celebrating their first win ever in professional football. Um, is a, a pre tournament game, but you know what? What well a lads, what well a well done. Very proud of you as your manager. Well done to you as well. Four attempts, two goals. Can't argue that 50% conversion rate. Yeah, fair play, fair play. We're happy with that. Like I said, that was probably the, the most skillful part of the, of the game there. Unfortunately, not to actually score. Um, what we'll do, let's just have a look. Is that, no, it's not on there. I was gonna look at that free kick from, uh, do you know what, there's only the half, it's just one half, one from the first half, that's a bit weird. Gonna get my words out there. Do you know what, they never had a shot on target. That's appalling. Um, that's absolutely appalling. Might have to change the difficulty if uh, that happens after the uh, group stage, if it is that stage. Got another loan offer for our second goalkeeper, which again, it's just not going to happen. Sorry, but we need him. Hopefully, I think it takes a month before we get a, uh, a review on the monthly squad and things like that. But uh, yeah. So fitness wise, I personally I feel like that's not too bad. So we'll, we'll keep the same team. What we will do though, we'll look at the weekly schedule and see what we're at. So schedule rules. So basically this is where you can change your rest day and training. So before a match is a rest day, after a match is recovery, and then there's intermittent training. Uh, that affects the squad. As you can see, the fitness, that sharpness, and moral will change. Fitness is of course the fitness in which they're having the game. If it takes um, quite a lot of fitness off of you, then you won't have a lot of fitness during the game, which is the worst possible situation to be in. Morale, again, that's self-explanatory. It's, it's uh, how they feel within themselves and stuff like that. The higher it is, the better the form. Sharpness, which is probably one of the key factors in this uh, career mode of FIFA 21, um, is just their ability to play. So that the higher that is, the easier you will find it to play with them. So keeping that high is quite important. Um, but fitness overall at this stage is probably the key. So to be honest, I think that's probably a good area to be in. Uh, so if you have a rest before or recovery day after, that will just boost up your fitness like crazy. We'll also put your morale up, which is quite important. And then the training will just give us that extra little boost of sharpness and hopefully improve the players so that we've got at least some form of... Um, potential going into the squad. Um, have we got any higher scores? So we're not on the high high list there for top scorers. We could be if to get it right. It's been one transfer so far. Um, we won't look at transfers until after the um, the pre-season tournament. Um, what we will do just to for argument's sake, because I can't remember more than anything. We're gonna look at a player that's uh, just find, find a random player really to be honest. Let's look at the Premier League and let's look at a player that's 30 plus. Let's see if there's any Premier League player 30 plus that's like worth buying. Um, and also that is affordable. So I mean yeah Andy Carroll, what value? 1.3, so we could probably, probably can't afford him. I imagine he's got a face. Oh, Chris, so, I mean, no one jumps out at me that we actually need, um, but that we can also afford at the same time. I think, from memory, the actual, like, scouting period, so, is totally different as well on this. I, don't, I can't remember if it's less or more. You might be dependent on your level of 
um, agents and stuff like that. So when we can, it's probably better to upgrade them and uh, get the more expensive ones. But of course, that means money. How do you earn money? You, it's quite difficult. Wow, as if Targo Silver is only worth 1.6 million pounds. His wage is insanity though, so that's no go. Yeah, overall, no one there. Let's have a little look at the championship. Might have more uh, use there. Harry Arter. Harry Arter might not be a bad player to have. Charlie Austin, again, might not be a bad player to have. Yeah, not, not a lot of people are jumping out. Michael Dawson. Uh, I love Michael Dawson, he's a legend, proper player. Oh, I can't approach him, he's going to retire, that's a shame. Stuart Downing, well, not good to have him, to be honest. Uh, ben Foster, he's a legend. Everyone's got to like Ben Foster, apart from when he's on England duty. Johnny Housen, Leeds player. Ex Leeds player. I mean, yeah, no one's jumping out. Like, there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of worth, really. So it might be worth leaving it until um, Scott Sinclair. Do you know what? We'll put Scott Sinclair, and we'll, we'll literally only do that. So nine days. Okay, so it does reduce the fact that you uh, can search for someone in terms of the normal game. So it's not too bad. Uh, it might be worth putting a few players on later on so these basically I was looking for whether we've got less time or not to um, be able to update a player um, but we haven't so that's a bonus so we'll play this next game we'll save this here if we get a win here uh, great brilliant we'll play with the same for uh, starting 11 if we get a win here we're pretty much gonna um, walk the group stages so happy days and after that we can play our second squad and see how they get on we're going to play in our our purple kit which is quite nice why well, i'm playing our black kit um in the next game if we can just so it shows off each kit yeah hopefully you're enjoying the screen uh stream the screen hopefully you're enjoying the screen guys hopefully you're enjoying the stream guys um So it's nice to be back. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting to the swing of it. It's uh, quite difficult to get into. It's quite nerve wracking as well. But uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it. See, so, yeah, I mean, this might be the game of the group stage. You know, you've got uh, the team that's second. If they beat us, they're guaranteeing their place. If we beat them, we're doing the same. So it might get a bit rough. As you can see, we've got Telford there, already up in the goals. Got two goals in his first game, very impressive. But yeah, let's get cracking, let's play the game. Already, the pitch is completely different here. It's, it's quite nice, but it's just pure green. Like, it's almost like AstroTurf. Oh, that wasn't very nice straight away. We did turn away from him. But surely that is a booking. We didn't see many bookings last game. There was quite a lot of rough challenges, as uh, Roman pointed out. But yeah, very early yellow card. Fully deserved. This guy has got a ball here. Can we? Ooh, no. Couldn't make the most of that at all. We're actually now backpedaling. Get the ball. Go on, lad. Oh, unlock it. It's, it's all a bit chaotic right now. And apparently that's a foul. I'm not entirely sure that was a foul for us, if I'm really honest, unless I handballed it, but yeah. One thing that I have realised is we haven't actually conceded. Why did I, why did I just say that? Whoa. 
<laughs> yeah, that was very close, but that was let off there. That wasn't fun at all, that. Oh my god, I'm falling apart. That's because I, uh, I was rushing. Alright, let's just relax. Let's just take a chill pill. Focus on a bit of passing. Get used to the passing. Passing through. Go to the centre. Pat. Oh, go on, get a wall paint. Again, paint, you should have like, let that off a lot earlier there. Yeah, that definitely was a foul. They're very aggressive, this team. This is basically like a derby for the group stage. So, yeah, I think the uh, mud actually opens the derby day things. So this might count as a derby day, for instance. Yeah, you just chopped them there. That weren't very nice at all. All right, so I really miss it, the previous FIFA where you could create your own, uh, like, patterns for this kind of thing. So we'll just dink it over here. That's Telford. Ah, oh, touch was not great at all. If we touch that into the right direction, we might have got through there. And now we're actually having to defend our own side. Go on. Oof. Hit the back of the net there. That was that was a lot of close for comfort. This this team is a lot more. Uh, a lot more skillful than the previous one. Well, I thought, he, I thought the keeper touched it if I missed it. So let's just, let's just calm the game down. Nope, that's not calming the game down. Do you know what? You could see that coming, and it was a very good goal in the end. Yeah, we, we deserve to be down. We're not playing very well. I think I need to wake up in fairness, but yeah, we're not playing very well at all. We just gave the ball away. Didn't didn't play very well at all there. Didn't get back quick enough. So let's let's snap up. Let's try and get things back on track. Ultimately, a draw would be okay. That's not good either. Oh, just control the ball, lads. Come on. Yeah, ultimately a draw would be okay, especially if you're drawing against the team that's basically already won. One. Keep hold of it, keep hold of it. Well done. Pass it through. Back to Dom. Ah, oh, a bit short that, mate. Alright, let's win that. Come on. Oh, wait, he's got it. It is a foul. Bit of a let off there, we would have been outnumbered. Let's keep the passes simple. Through his legs, have a crack. Oh, oh, not too bad of a crack there, lad. Off the post from way out. We'll take that. We'll take that. Quick throwing. I didn't really want a quick throwing. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. To paint, paint out a shot. Oh, good save from the keeper. And they've kicked it out. There we go. That's better. We're putting a bit more pressure on them. We're getting. Getting them nerves. Oh, that's a corner. I'll throw it out for a goal kick. Uh, for a throwing, rather. Cross it in. Get Big Sam on there. Oh, we managed to get a Sam on the ball this time, but um, yeah. A lot more under it than anything else. So, oh, Sam's back on the ball. Sam's actually a very, very good defender, but he's, he's just very, ah, very good with the ball. Wasn't a good pass at all there. From good old Tom. Uh, Dom, rather. Oh. Go on. Ah. His passing is letting him down. His passing is not good at all. Just the, the speed in which he was doing that then was just awful. It took away the chance. Oh, that was a nifty little touch, wasn't it? There we go, lads. Come on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting on with Tom uh, with Payne at all. Oh, Sam's quite slow. Go on, get that. There you go. Pass it. Yeah. 
There you go, keep running. Go on, free to the dam. There we go. Have a good touch. Oh, he's lost all his speed there, but oh, he still manages to finish it. Well done. Brilliant bit of counter attacking football. Totally against the run of play, but we'll take it. Definitely take it. And that's his third goal for the club. I need to have a word with the lads and their celebrations, if I'm totally honest. I'm not pressing any buttons when when they celebrate, so it's just automatic. Their celebrations are getting quite bad. Excuse me, I'm just going to choke myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, third goal in the court, that puts him level, if not on top of the board. And it's a good time to score, 41 minutes. We can't complain about that. If we go in half time with a draw, we we'll be happy with that. We've done well to get back on top. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, again, there is a few players in the first team squad currently that I'm not very impressed with. I think my defence is pretty good. Oh, that was. Oof, well done. Keeps, well done. I probably shouldn't talk about my defence when I'm defending, they seem to be able to buckle. The, the left mid, it's so, isn't doing that great either. His track back in it great. Not that I, that I expect it to be in fairness, but. Oh, got a bit of defending there. I'm really impressed with Sam. Sam's brilliant. Woods is very really lucky that that was half time. I reckon I would have passed that to the opposition if it weren't for the uh, whistle. Yeah, only one attempt, so clearly we've not been getting done on the ball enough. We've not been giving it him in the good places. Um, which suggests, again, pain isn't what's needed. So we'll probably swap out pain. Um, Isgrove and Ito aren't doing very good either, so we're definitely going to swap out pain and we'll put on Rosa. Um, not entirely sure which one we want to swap, if not both. We don't really have a replacement white mid, do we? We don't, not on the bench, no. The only the only guy, I mean, he can play either wing, but he's more of a left wing. So, we'll go off stamina. We'll put him on the on the right wing. Let's see how he does there. He was on the left wing last time. He did get a goal. Again, it was an open net, but we did get a goal. Um, but we'll see how he does. We can always swap him over and replace the player. But yeah, we need, we need to win here, man. We need to win. We're, we've been shown up a bit here. I don't know that I've just gave the ball away, to be honest, but... There we go. Go on, get the ball. No, too much power on that. So yeah, we need, we need to focus. We need to get things on board. We need to just basically win the game, get a goal, and just see it out. Okay, we won the ball there, that's very good. Oh, we got took out there, ref. That weren't very good. Was that going to be a red? Oh, it is a red. Yeah, he took him from behind. He totally took him out. That was just unnecessary. The, the mud is very random at times with this, or at least the, the config file, anyway, or the locale file. But yeah, that was just horrendous. We never even saw a replay of it, really. But we'll take it, you know what? We'll take it. We're not doing too great. Oh, that was a good bit of ball. Oh. Is that handball? It was handball. Do you know what? That's very, very harsh. Just a record while we, it's on the screen. I actually designed the captain badge as well, which I'm quite proud of. It, it basically looks like Adidas, but it, it, we'll take it. I think the kit is Adidas, so it works out well. So, yeah, we've got... Do you know what, we've got a good chance here. Hold on, mate, surely you're too close there. Going for a shot. Mm, not the best. Again, probably a bit too far away. I should maybe go more for power than, than placement. I should probably put my player dead on the ball as well, rather than to the left. Can we get it? Oh, we can. Big Sam doing the team proud. Puts it through. Oh, is it going in? Is it going in? Oh, it's gone in. I think... 
Did that? Is that known goal? What happened there? Uh, Callum got his goal at least. So he's had a shot. It's gone to the keeper. Oh, they've just. That's embarrassing. Ah, oh, look, he's kicked the other player and made him miss kick the ball, and it's just rolled over the net. Quite harsh to call that a known goal, if I'm totally honest, but we'll have it for comedic value. 2 1. Bit lucky, bit lucky, but we'll take it. We're going to take anything that we, we get, if I'm totally honest. It's going to be a very, very difficult uh, career mode, so. Trust me, the game will be very, uh, very negative at one point, I'm sure of it. Oh, that's. See what I mean? Oh, that was an interesting kick. So we are 60 minutes in. They're making subs. I think we're going to make some subs as well. Might be worth taking off Talford. Keep him saved. Although it is only 2 1. You know what? I take it back. Let's take off uh, McClaney. Let's play with our two strikers and see how they get on. Um, do you know what? We'll bring off Francis and we'll put, or bring on Francis and put on Arfito instead and see how they get on. Ooh, Hughes isn't looking very good either. We'll, we'll swap him out as well. He's done very well. I'm very impressed. Uh, we'll also back up our defence. We might as well change them if we've got the the subs to do it. Keep our players fresh. Keep them motivated. Give them half hour, good bit of gameplay for them. Lots of substitutions there. Yeah, let's play it short. Get back to playing. Hopefully, you guys like the kits as well. Oh, that was that was appalling. That. Roman, not a good sign uh, when you're a man of the match, his opponent who scored you the winner. Yeah, I mean, not not great. I, I mean, hey, it's a, a win for us, so we'll take it. I've just took him out there. Um, so we'll definitely take it. Is he actually man of the match then? Or can we look at the ratings during the live game? I hope we can go in. Be hilarious, he actually is man of the match. So we, we've gave away a free kick here, and it's not the worst position. Oh! Do you remember when I was just saying a second ago when I said it's not the worst position? Oh, that was some bad defending, that was. I mean, by bad, it was non existent. Oh dear. The keeper could have done a lot better there. But also the fresh centre back who just headed mid air. He just headed he headed air. That was a, a good finish there. So we're at two two. So we've literally made all our subs. We've still got our main striker on. We've still got our goal scorer on. So hopefully we can get something back here, folks. We are we are only a draw. We're only a point currently. So it's not the worst if we. Oh. But, I mean, we've got 20 minutes, they're a man down. There could be another man down at this point. He's not actually going to get booked. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't great, that. Oh, no, from Lainer there. Thank you. Come on, whack it over. Get that, son. Go on, lad. Oh, what? How on earth has he missed that? Our main striker there with three goals, most of the club. In the club, trying to assist, and uh, yeah, our other striker just did not get that at all. Let's go, go on, yes, lad. Is he on side? He is on side. It counts. Beautiful. There we go. He's much better at scoring than he is assisting. Not to take it away from the, the pass that he did make, and again, that guy is probably better at assisting than scoring. So uh, that didn't take long. Ripped him over there. That was beautiful control from him there. Keeper just couldn't get to it. He squeezed it into that gap actually. 
you know what, that made it really hard for me because the camera angle just wasn't there at one point. I just kind of hit and hoped, but as you can see, I'm very excited about that. The manager looking good. He's looking very handsome, if I say so myself. He's looking very, like, underpaid with his tracksuit, but, you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. Set for five minutes, 3-2, we're winning. And... Um... Do you know what? I've now just realised Dom Telford is the only guy to score for Cog Studio FC. Um, the only other person to score is a, a random guy on their team. So uh, that's interesting. I wonder how in the history books how many teams have only ever had one goal scorer for them. Good bit of playing there. Passed it. Oh, he's knocked it in. That'll do, lad. Well done. Talking about records, he's just broke a record. He's the second player ever, technically the third, because we've got an own goal to score. Um, Roman there, handsome and underpaid. I'm guessing you based them on yourself. Most definitely I did. Uh, both of them things are true. <laughs> um, beautiful bit of play there. Really simple. He kind of scuffed it in the air at the end, but we'll take it. He's made up for his previous mistake there. I'm really happy about how we've shown this. We, I mean, we conceded the really, really bad second goal, if I'm honest. But initially, we were losing. We then went down to 2 2. And we've gone back and made it 4 2. Quite lucky to be on top initially with the own goal, but we've done well. We've done well. I'm happy. Whoa. Again, though, I feel better playing with the second set of 11 uh, players than I do with the first. So, like I say, it might not be better playing with the higher rated players. I might have spoke too early here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Rinsed there. Absolutely rinsed. That was a brilliant bit of play by them there. Oh, that was a very good finish in fairness. You cannot argue with that. Keepers going the other way, which ain't the best thing. I have noticed the keepers making quite a few mistakes. Lena, uh, definitely talking about himself. Of course. I only, I only ever talk about myself. It's the only thing I, I know. Oh, dear. We're falling apart here, lads. Or oh, ladies. We've got, you know... Five minutes left included added time and uh, it's 4-3. We need to just keep on board of things, need to control that ball. If they if they score I'm gonna be good. We've done really well to, to get in the position we are, but go on, keep oh no he's done me there, he's done me. Oh no what? Oh dear, folks, that's not great at all. That was that was appalling. We've got two defenders there on one guy. One guy trying to do some sort of backflip to get it, and he just whiffs it and absolutely misses. Again, fairness to the keeper, there's not much chance from there. So now we're in half time. We're in extra time, rather, or added time, and. Uh, we already had two minutes of it. Uh, we're down or we're drawing. So hopefully something. Oh you know what? No. Ah, oh, that's probably that's over any that's over. Come on, get it. Ah oh, lads. We threw that away there. It's not the worst position to be in. We drew with the second leader, so I think we have a better goal difference as well, so we're probably still on top. But it does take it to the next game till we get through to the group stages. So Dom Telford there with 100% record, that's pretty decent. But yeah, you know what? Saying that, I've just realised that they were a man down. They were a man down and they scored their own goal. We were lucky to get a draw there in the end. 4-4 draw is very very lucky results of actually being the Dom's goal there 
very good. Yeah, I mean, one thing I, I said earlier why I changed the boots. The um, red boots don't all that bad with the purple kit, but the uh, the red kit, the red boots, I'm really not liking, so I might have to change that. Um, at least that was a more competitive game. Um, previously, they had zero shots to opposition. Now, this time, they've only had four shots on target and all went in. As I said, the keeper, not the best. Might have to give the other keeper a go next time. Performance-wise, Dom Telford with the man of the match rather than Dom. Well, uh, lad. But yeah, quite, I think everyone drew, actually. Look at that, everyone drew that round. That's quite odd. Um, again, another one, Rafa for our secondary keeper. As I said, we're literally going to use him next game, so definitely not letting him go on loan. Let's advance. That wasn't the, uh, the best result at all. We'll skip training. Probably won't play a lot of training, if I'm honest. I've never used to do. If you do, I find that the player's potential kind of like shoot up ridiculously, unrealistically high. So it's not going to happen. Uh, again, I've got another loan offer. Everyone seems to want him, don't they? He's a popular guy. We'll put him to the test this game and see what he can offer us. Um, but yeah, we're going to start off the game with the players that have been playing the best. So Rose has been definitely been playing the best. Do you know what? Chineri actually has been playing the best as well. We'll, we'll take him off for Oto. Have we got a right mid? We do. We've got Kemp. So you know what? Let's put him on. He can play left middle right mid, so he's good for a backup. We'll put Kemp on instead. Uh, overall, I think that's probably the best team in terms of performance. We'll, we'll swap Wilson for a spare right back. Um, is it worth, if we're swapping players around, is it worth Ducty for Francis. Uh, <laughs> Roman there should give away your first keeper on loan. Not a bad shout at all there. Um, we'll put Francis on. Uh, thank you for reminding me. We'll actually swap the goalkeepers around. So, yeah, I mean, this squad definitely changed in terms of rating, which is a bit worrying. I also just realised Telford is a left footed player. And this guy is right, so we're gonna we're gonna switch them around. That's weird. I thought it was left because he's actually a left winger, but it's actually right. So we'll swap them, swap them around, swap them around, swap them around, see how well they get on. Um, and we'll save the game. It basically, guys, if we win this, and oh no, I suppose technically the, the team in in second, if they win, they'll get the same rate, but. Overall, I think we've definitely guaranteed our place through. So the first two teams that go through, so we've definitely guaranteed our place through. But nice to get top, of course. Um, so we'll play with that. Uh, we'll also play with our third kit to give you guys a little glimpse of that kit. Um, hopefully it won't mess around. They can play in white, happy days. Black and white, perfect, that'll do. So we'll play in our black kit just to show that off a bit. Like I say guys, I'll create a video um, at some point, um, basically showcasing how it was I'll put this mod together. Um, you guys could, if you're familiar with tech, you, you, you can get your head around it, it's quite a simple thing. It's very long winded, there's a lot of work to it, but it is simple work. At the end of the day it's just replacing what's already there, literally just opening the file of, for instance, that flag there putting what you want on it and then importing it back into the game it, it's quite simple if you if you're a pc gamer you, you're going to get on well with it if you deal with issues and things like that it'll be very simple for you guys um but also um i'll just show you what you can do and what you can't do but also i'll show you the kit creator so fifa kit creator online brilliant little kit creator you can also like use other people's designs so you don't have to be that inventive you, you, you don't have to be that creative you can just use what other people have or you can use that to, to stimulate what you want to do and give you ideas i did that i based my design off something else and i got into a point where i learned the software and just kind of like went for it and this is what i came up with so 
it's definitely very very good to uh, get used to it's 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 pretty good in the sense that you don't have to necessarily know your stuff to do it you can just kind of like literally replace what's there as I say again so it's it's, it's very simple and I recommend it definitely especially if you're into FIFA it also in theory you can use the same technique for previous FIFAs because from FIFA 15 it's the same setup basically so if you've got anything from FIFA 15 onwards you can use what I've done here across other playthroughs in terms of the game so it's, it's applicable to other FIFAs which is a huge bonus and kind of shows that EA don't change a lot of FIFA at all each year it's just the online stuff that has changed and even then it's not so much changed it's just migrated but we won't get into a FIFA argument anyhow let's kick off we're playing our black kit it's a very snazzy black kit I like it we're still rocking green that was a bit of a heavy pass back we're still rocking green for the uh keeper kit I think that's the same across all kit I don't think you can change the keeper kit you only have one keeper kit in a game of FIFA that's not very good um, so it's just pretty important that you make it that it's not a colour that clashes with your, your kits you also can't add another kit I should say so for instance that's one of the reasons why I chose spell go on cross that in go on oh he's missed it Unfortunate that lad, nice try, nice try. Yeah, as I was saying, you can only replace what's there. So for instance, I have three kit choices. Spell, the team that I replaced had three kit choices. That's the only reason why a League 2 team has three kits. I can't generate another um, another kit within the game. Um, I suppose you could try and copy one from another team and implement it into the team that you're replacing but it's risky because you're changing the entire code and loading and stuff like that. Another message from Roman, your opponents have more sponsors than Gaza's AI meetings. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not wrong, they do have a lot. It's it's like an F1 team, isn't it, with all the sponsors. I don't know why they got so many sponsors, but yeah. Oh, that's bad. Go on, get a ball. There you go. We need to get on this game. Ten minutes in, we're not doing a lot. I've noticed I don't do very well when I'm talking all the time. It's quite hard to not talk when you're streaming. Oh, he's got took out there, ref. And that's not a foul, ref. Pretty sure he just got took out from behind. But, yeah, okay. Oh, we've been done there, ref. That wasn't... That might have been a... Yeah. I thought so. It touched his hand when he clipped it back. That wasn't good at all. I mean, this this here, that was definitely a handball, but the bit before he just literally tapped on his head, that was just awful defending. Shouldn't do that. Not a good start from our right back in the first 15 minutes. Let's see if our new keeper can do anything. Oh, he's actually jumped out of the way. He was very, very close to that. That was unfortunate. Look how close the keeper was. Ah, oh, he even kicked out with his leg, didn't he? Yeah, look, he kicked out with his leg and he missed it. Um, so yeah, 16 minutes in, gave away a penalty as a handball. I mean, from a player point of view, you can't do much about it, but it is what it is. Just got a get back on the board haven't we really get back in the game get back on it the advantage of them scoring so early on is that we have a lot of time to make up for it they do seem to be all over us though so I'm not I'm not enjoying the right back at all if I'm honest he's very slow very sluggish he's done well there he's reminding me of Tottenham's Aurier where he's like Oh, that's not good. Oh, good save, good save. Still in there? Well done. Yeah, where he's not very good some days, and the other days he's brilliant. Hopefully, we'll see a day when he's brilliant. Hopefully, he turns it around. 
and he will be brilliant. Oof. That wasn't very nice at all. He has had a cardigan though as well. They have a ridiculous amount of uh, sponsors, don't they? Come on. Goes the wing. Pass back to Darm. Whack it. Ah. Oh, I was trying to hit it first time there, but he took an extra touch for some reason. Oh, I didn't quite get the ball there. A bit too much pace on it. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be a quick throw in at least. Oh, I was going to say at least we can try and win the ball, but we totally missed it. Go on, lad. We're that. Oh, nicely done. You know what? It's actually... Oh. I was waiting for, Tom, for Dom to make a good run, but he just didn't. Maybe he's better off on the other side, you know. We need to remember that we changed that. Oh, how have we not won that back? He totally mugged himself off. Oh, we've committed a bit too many players there. Go on, Dom. That wasn't Dom, that was Sam, wasn't it? We gave away another foul. This is, uh, I'm not going to talk about how good of a... It's, the same position as last time, so hopefully we can. Uh... Oh, he's gone for a shot. Oof. Keepers had to tip it over, but he did tip it over. Okay. The game was a bit laggy there for the record, but hopefully that's alright. Ooh, he tips it over quite well, actually. He's not the best looking lad, though, is he? In fairness. Bit harsh. Oh. Oof. Skyrocket there, not very good. Alright, we need to just I've I've messed up here lads. Okay, that's good. That's good. And ladies. Okay, better. There we go. That's it, there. Go on, keep it going. Oh he's done the over. Have a shot. Ooh. Come on, Sam there, big Sam, being absolutely brilliant on the ball as always, good old Dom's got the ball, nice bit of pass it back through, go on, go on lad, yes, that's what we like, beautiful bit of play there, 43 minutes in, we've equalised, that's what we wanted, well, well deserved, A brilliant finish that. And, uh, well, oh, just curled it past him. Good pass as well from Rosary. Done really well. A bit of tick attack of football, which is what we like. He's fifth goal in the tournament. Very impressive. He's had more than one goal each game so far, so I think. So hopefully he gets more. We need more right now. We need to win this one. Just see it through, get through to the next stage. Go on, win the ball. Ah. I think overall, we're not seeing much of Francis Abwell as the left back. So, Francis, I don't really have a verdict on. The right back guy, I'm not liking at all. I'm not getting on with him. Um, it's just a bit slow, a bit sluggish. He's definitely been the stand outside, Dom as Telford. Yeah, I mean, let's take a little look. Yeah, him. He ain't doing well. He ain't doing well at all. So our opposition are also drawing, which is beneficial for us. Um, the IF squad there, if they draw or lose, hopefully, um, it's going to help us out a lot. Stamina-wise, we're looking decent. Woods might drift off later on. Francis is doing okay. Uh... I'm not liking it. As if he's got 81 pace. That's like the highest pace we've got. Practically. Apart from Telford. It doesn't feel like he's got that much pace though. Very weird. Acceleration 83. So he's not got 
He should be blasting off. Um, what's his dribbling like though? Dribbling 62, so... Yeah, I mean his dribbling is not bad compared to the rest of the squad, so... We're going to make a little change though. I'll tell you what, we're going to do something a bit funky. We're going to use our centre-back here, and we're going to put him there. We've got a spare centre-back in the core, but he wasn't that good as a centre-back, so maybe he'll be better as a right-back. He is a lot slower though, but... To be honest, can't be much slower than this guy. Uh, after that, we'll probably stick to the same. We'll, we'll swap these two around though. I think Telford's probably better off on the left hand side. Uh, or the right hand side, sorry, he's a left striker, but he seems to cut in a lot more than score. So hopefully we can make that a bit more a bit more to our advantage being in that position. Oh there we go, won that. What we're going to do, we're going to get in the box as well. We want the players in the box. If they're in the box, they're going to be able to just obviously create more chances. Go on, Callum, control it. Ah, oh, just lost control of the ball there. That was unfortunate. Go on, lad, get it. Oh, go on. Oh, that weren't very good at all. Ah, that is not what we wanted. 50 minutes in, and uh. We've conceded again uh, to the the sponsor squad. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. It was actually the right back, you know. The right back just didn't win the ball, and they just sliced right through us. There was just just pace involved there. Keeper, yes, he's he's not stopped. Here, he's not that close, but you can't do a lot when you're one on one like that. He did come out in the end, but he just went quick enough. So, back to square one, we're behind. We need to score two goals realistically in this half. So, we need to get cracking, lads, to be honest. If we can score right away, I'll be happy. I'll let you off. Ah, oh, that weren't great. I thought Rosa was going to get a ball, but he never. So. Advantage there, yeah, we just took him out previously, so. That's not good at all, really. We're in a we're in a bad decision, we're in a bad position here, folks. Uh, we need to pull some back. Go on. Oh, Frank. Yeah, we were lucky there again. That that would have sliced through us again if we weren't careful. Come on, we just need to control the ball. Get it more. Nope. No, no, no. Come on, lads. There we go. Come on, keep control of it. That might be offside, but it's come off him, actually. Ah, oh, ref. It came off him the last second, in fairness. So technically it's not offside, but I suppose you call it for the last, the previous time. Ah, I thought, I thought he just got back in line with him, but he never looked. Should have passed that a lot earlier. I did see it, and I just never, never released it in the time. Oh, he might have fouled him there. Nope. Okay. Happy days. Come on. Play a bit better now. Got the ball. In a good position. Passed it through. Oh, that was a good change. Ref, is that a penalty? No. Nope. Well, it's a good change, if I'm honest. Nowhere near a penalty. Oh, nice little uh, pass there. He has took him out there, though. Oh, ref, give us the free kick. Where was the advantage? Oh, dear. Oh dear lads, oh dear lads and ladies, that is not what we wanted at all in fact. That's not good. Why Why have they rinsed through us so easily there? I suppose we're on get in so we ask them to put up front so uh, we might have to take that off, we need our defence. Woods isn't doing great. 
Also, this guy in the right back is awful. He's not very good. He's not very good in the centre back either. I'm a bit worried about putting him there, but we'll have to uh, we'll have to like it and lump it really. Might have to take off Rosa here and put on Payne. Um, I'll not take him off, but change position. He can play as a right back, um, so hopefully he'll he'll be okay up there. Uh, we're also going to change Ito for our left mid. And you know what? We're gonna have to change Doherty and put on a striker for Clanny. Gonna have to gonna have to make a change here. We're gonna have to go for it. Um, we're even gonna bring on and put a more solid centre defender midfielder on. We just need to have that core. If them three lads can stay there, everyone else attack. We'll be in a better position. Um, at least their celebration is just as yours, Roman says. Yes, they are very bad. Um, even worse because they're the opposition so it's not going very well we need to pull this back we need to aim I mean realistically we can only get a draw even then that's a push so we need to pull this back here lads good start good start no nope. where are all the players let's take off getting backs we'll put on attacking full backs instead which hopefully it won't push the fullbacks too far forward. Bottom paint, good bit of dribbling. Pass back to him. Pass it to the wing. Come on, Kemp lad. God, what well, a the corner. Probably shouldn't have touched extra there. Yeah, it's not an extra touch and it just pushed it away. Hopefully we can cross this in. Get it on Big Sam's head. Okay. Oh, ref, was that a ball? No. I think we're, we're getting a bit desperate there now, aren't we? Ooh, good change that, to be honest. I mean, if anything, they're just counter-attacking us, aren't they? They're just doing it very, very, very well. We've got 10 minutes here, 10 minutes to get two goals, and if anything, they look more likely to actually score. Oh, that touch. That touch totally took me out of the game there. There we go, a bit of passing. Well done, keep it up. Ah, that's not great. Pain again, giving the ball away as he's done all pre-season really. Oh, okay, that, I'm not too sure whose that is. That's theirs. They're making a sub. We're going to skip it because we don't care. Come on, ref! It's ref. He's just took Dalford out there. Go on, get that, get it. Well done, lad. Keep it up. So, win it. Ah, you know what? We're not going to do this. Just two minutes. Even if we get a goal now, it's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, not a bad shot. In fairness, not a bad shot at all. But it's gone over two minutes. Even if we get a goal now. It's going to be full time straight away, so. Ah. Full time. Our first loss in club history. And, uh, yes. Not not the best at all performance there, to be honest. We really lacked Oster. Maybe it was the black kit. Maybe we don't do very well in the black kit. But, yeah, that was, as Comtat just said there, poor performance overall. Not good, that. Not good at all. So, depending on what the other result was, we might have gone into second place. Um, again, we'll, we'll probably still proceed in the in the group stage after the group stage, the knockout stages. Um, but it's, no, it's not what we want. We want to win everything we've got, everything we can. Maybe it's because we only have one uh, one sponsor. Um, yeah, you know, according back to the actual um, comment from Roman about uh, Logitech, 
I actually forgot I even put Logitech on the kit, you know. Uh, <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, I mean, overall, they had less shots on target at least. Same as us. It was quite an even game if you look at the stats. Um, they just made their chances count. They actually had a lot less shot accuracy as well, which is insane. And they still managed to win by two goals. So, not good at all. Not good at all. And to make things worse, the opposition uh, for first also um, won their games. They must have finished first. So we're in the harsher side of the knockout stages now. As you can see, we're in the semi finals. We've got Bayern 2, who's their, the Bayern Munich um, youth club, basically. That's an interesting deal. So, Saka has gone to Juventus. Um, which is a bit of a shock. 36.5 million. That's quite a very shock. English player going to a team like that. Good on him. Uh, again, another loan for this guy. Yeah, he's done pretty well in fairness. Um, although I've said that, we lost 3-1. So I'll take it back, he ain't done well at all. But I, f I feel like the defence let him down, if I'm honest, his teammates let him down. We got 66,000 out of the uh, group stages at least. Not the most we could have got, but it's, it's, it's hey, it's money, we can't complain. So our uh, transfer budget right now, it's not the worst, you know what, we could probably buy a player if we, if we got the right player. Um, a right back might be the way to go as well. So let's let's have a little look at the right backs. It'd be better when we've got the actual um, youth squad list just to see. But let's look at the championship for a right back. Let's see who's on offer. We'll go. We want probably want an experienced right back. So let's do. 20, 28 and uh, above basically so I mean there's not Carl Jenkinson he might not be a bad shout and that's it really well have a look at Carl has he got a face he has got a face so he's injury prone but he's got good crossing slide tackle and stands tackle which is a bonus and he's got a good shot power so, you know what, well, might as well scout him. Um, let's look at the one for a right back with those same details. I imagine there'll be a lot less players. Might be worth looking at the youth squad as well, you know, so let's reduce that. Let's look at 16 plus and 16 to 13. Let's just look, that's realistically where we're we going to get our, our players from, that age range. Again, no one's jumping out. We're going to try and not use um, anything to help us. I'm going to search on the internet about who's a good player as well for this series. We're just going to go after the facts uh, with kind of like search them up and stuff. I know from playing experience who's good and who's not. So I'm always going to go and try and go for the player that I don't know much of. James Bree, I've heard a lot about him. Has he got a face? No, he hasn't. Bye bye, James Bree. We can't have you there. Uh, Joel. This guy might not be a bad shout. I'm pretty sure he has a face. He's got weird hair. He's a right back and a centre back. So, uh, do you know what? We'll scout him. I think he is he the Man City guy. I think he is, isn't he? Jason McCarthy. Again, he might be quite a good shout. I imagine he might be a bit more expensive. He's older, so he might be a bit more uh, established. 18-year-old here. Has he got a face? I'm not convinced that's a face. It might be. I think he is a face, so we'll scout him as well. Baddy Mumbai. 
they just seem to be young enough to be able to um, be worthwhile, really. Anybody at that age is going to be good. Steven Session, uh, his brother's at Tottenham, Ryan Session. Uh, he'll probably be a bit too more expensive. Jan, I know he will produce to be quite a good player, so I'm not really interested in him kind of yet. Let's look at the youngest, we really like the youngest like that. Let's look at the Premier League, let's see if they've got any like young prospects we can maybe loan. Loading might be an option too, we don't always have to buy of course. Um, we probably can't afford Trent right now, maybe at some point, but definitely not now. Yeah, I think they're all going to be a bit too established, aren't they? Yeah. Marlon Fosey, that might not be a bad show, you know. Contract expiring. Let's ha add him. I, from memory, he is a. Ooh. Okay, so I may have messed up the game at some point and tried face fingers. That's what happens when the face fingers don't work. Hopefully, that's the only player we've got like him. We'll take him out. We ain't going to use him. Also, end the scouting because that's the waste of scouting. Uh. Yeah, no, George Marsh, he might not be a bad shout. I like George Marsh. Uh, Sterling might not be a bad shout if we want to load someone. So we'll scout him and see what he's good at. I mean, that's quite a lot of players we've got scouting, so we'll leave it at that. It'll take a while before we're even like at the point where we can look at them. But, uh,. We'll sack that there. We'll keep going, folks. We'll go until 9 o'clock. We're top of the table for goal scored. But the opposition also have a guy on top. So it's going to be an uh, interesting game. Let's look at the transfers while we're here in the other teams. Serge uh, Bruce, Seen, Sackers, Gunter, Juventus for 36.5. Eric Dyer has been sold from Tottenham for only 18.3, which isn't that much, really. Um, a more interesting situations. Martinez is left by Munich. Sargent has gone to Real Madrid for 4.4, so I imagine he's going to be a very good player in the future. Barnes has left Barnes, Bar Burnley, Barnsley, Burnley, Barnes has left Burnley, that's a tongue twister, um, not a lot at all really, Leeds are packing out some money, that's unusual for them, so yeah, not too many players have been sold, well those are the top dealers aren't they, so, might be worth looking at the free agents at some point, but I don't really like getting free agents. They won't have a face, and they'll probably be like very. That's an interesting deal. They'll probably be very uh, low rated, just not worth the time, really. So we won't really bother with free agents until we've progressed more into the, the career uh, in terms of years. So there's not been any huge. Um, offerings basically so we'll play the next game let's look at the squad uh, you know what? might have to change it might have to bring back Rose in the goal would choose gonna have to swap our right back he was awful let's bring Wilson back on Francis it wasn't so much bad as just really not there which isn't good Rosa again he's, he's good he's doing well we might play at other camp, you know, we've not actually played him, have we, so Payne's not doing him well at all, so we'll, we'll take Rosa out, do we want to take him out completely, Payne's not doing very well, if we need him most, we'll bring him on, Kemp, again, didn't see a lot of him, and you know what, we'll swap these two, he was much better on the bench, coming onto the field, than he was starting, so I think we'll rock with that, it's probably the most positive starting 11 we've had. Uh, minus the cam, Rosa would be the cam, but we'll try out a new cam, see how that goes. Um, probably gonna have to play purple again, aren't we? Because of the red of Bayern Munich, so we'll play purple this time. 
like I said, I hope you are enjoying it, guys. You can uh, follow, of course, if you haven't already. That would be great. Much appreciated. Uh, you can donate, but in all honesty, it's not something that you even need to think about. It's all good. You will get your name pop up on the stream, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, I don't know what button I pressed there, but that was completely wrong. Um, yeah, if you can follow, that would really help me out. It'll show that you guys want to see this stuff and just um, motivate me to keep going. Uh, personally, I've loved tonight. It's been great. Been streaming for a while. Probably been longer than I normally stream before. Hopefully, I'm uh, going to be streaming for longer and more consistent. Uh, hopefully, you guys like the idea of the custom FIFA um, club as well. I know FIFA is very particular in terms of um, what likes it. Um, for the record, as you can see, we're we're in the semi-finals. So if we beat these guys, we're in the final, basically. So we just got to beat them, basically. Um, hat trick in the previous match. So that's something to look out for. But yeah, like I say, I hope you're enjoying the custom thing. Like I say, if you are interested in FIFA um, and you're wanting to do the mod yourself, what? At some point, I'll record a video. It will take me a while because it's quite tricky to actually do, as I said before. Um, but at some point, we'll be back on, and um, I'll, I'll redo a little like uh, bit of info on how it is and stuff like that, and basically show you guys how I did it and hopefully how you guys do it yourselves. Um, but yeah. So there's actually got five in defence I've noticed, which kind of sucks to be honest, getting past five. Hopefully we can uh, tear them apart and uh, do the job. I think this, again minus the cam, is probably the strongest side. This is probably the side that I've been playing in the league daily, uh, our, our usual weekly games. Alright, let's go lads, come on. We need to have a better showing really, last game wasn't good at all. We did make a lot of changes, maybe it just took the momentum out of the team, out of the squad, but it wasn't good enough. Our right back definitely let us down a lot of the times, at least two of the goals came from his mistakes. Um, and the other one probably came from the other right back's mistake as well, so not the best. Rosa I can actually play a better right back than the two intended right backs so not good at all we're already kind of like outplaying us here the stretch is quite wide we have got the ball maybe we can make the most of it here good from run from Ndoku ah not the best but we've still got the ball pass it over go on lad yes well done well done so He's not played a single minute for me, and he scored in the eighth minute. Not only did he score, he basically set up himself. So, you know what? You're a good player in my box. Well done, lad. We might have to swap you for paying, if I'm honest. Depending on how this game's go, you might be better than uh, Rosa. But right now, that was a good way to get yourself back into the, the squad. Well done, lad. Leighton. I'm going to call you Leighton. I can't pronounce your name. Your name's now Leighton. Congratulations. Do you know what? I think the purple kit is my favourite kit for the record as well. Um, yeah, feel free to drop in the comments what your favourite kit is. You've seen all three of them. Um, hopefully you're a fan of them. Some of you may ask why purple, I literally have no idea. Um, red and black is of course the kind of like theme for Cog Studio, so we're trying to get that consistent. Why the purple? Honestly, I, I don't know. It was just something to be able to be completely different from squad from the other teams in FIFA. So if there was an incident where I was playing against a team that was black and red, I wouldn't have a colour clash. Uh, but it just kind of worked out nicely. It's quite a nice purple. I really, really like playing in it. 
You can always change, right? It's a third kit, it's a third kit. Tend to change. I've passed that back to the goalkeeper. Managed to get rid. That was good. Oh my god, he's just kind of threw himself his grove there. Come on, get the ball. Well done. Um, okay. I feel like the physics there just totally destroyed uh, science. What actually happened. So. He's gone back. He's also good at defending this guy. I mean, I'm not so sure good is the right word, but he defended it. So it's gone. Oh no, he, he hit it back. That was pretty snifty, that was. He did win it back though, so. Can't argue with him there. He's took him out from behind there, ref. Vita's been booked, so he's also been booked. Oh, it was Vita, okay. The pop up there was a bit weird. Okay, oh, totally took me out there. I don't even think that was a foul. Oh, what? Got a rinse there, I'm not too sure what happened. Oh. oh, well done, well done. Passed it, good pass there. Honestly, Connor is not doing that well overall. Uh, he might be a bit of an unsung hero in fairness, but... He's on the ball. That's better from Wilson from our right back there. That's what we want to worry about doing, kicking it out. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on, Rose. Stop. Oh, dear. Level again. Semi final, and we're 1 1. They just rinsed us, I don't know what happened, they just literally ripped the back four apart. So that was pace, that, uh, Doherty there just didn't have the pace to keep up, did he? Again, just slow reactions from the keeper there. Oh, totally forgot the ball. Come on, we need to get back on it here. Oh, okay. Talking him out there. Let's just get back on it, don't we? Good bit of passing. Oh, he's... Ah, oh, was he offside? He was offside. Um, but how far off? Oh, it, it was a mile offside. Basically, that sucked. Come on. Get it. Yes, Woods. Come on. Keep pressure on. Come on. Get your foot in. Get your foot in. Come on. Win it. There you go, lad. Well done. to the wing, there you go, lovely, that's what we want, his groove, I mean, oh, not great, go on, oh, what, hit the post there, beautiful bit of play, great bit of counter attacking football, quite surprised to manage to even get his shot away there in fairness, but, hit the post, oh, that's unfortunate that, done really, really well there, 
couldn't quite get a goal. Couldn't quite get a goal, unfortunately. Um, positive. Uh, ah, little rivals like the group stage are winning theirs. Um, so we could be facing them again if we get through. Uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep at it, I think. Uh, we haven't really got a lot of choice. In Into has done really well. Ito has done really well this game. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep on it. We'll see how far we can push these players. Might have to step up again and just go all out attacking at some point. But we'll keep it at a, a, a standard attacking pace right now. Ah, oh, okay, he kind of just got took out there, ref. I feel like that should have been a foul. Oh, come on, then. Win it. Oh. Go on, then. Win that. No. We're not winning the ball at this point. It's quite frustrating. Get the ball. Oh, you can win that. Well done. Come on, attack straight away. No, nope. don't give the ball away. I mean, I don't know what happened there, but it's kind of just ended up on the floor. So, oh, ran into danger there. Awful, awful that. Should have passed it way, way quicker. Ah, uh, we've been rinsed. He's done well to... Ah, oh, we'll take that. It's our foul as well. I think he unballed it. Come on. Come on. Great bit of tank and foul ball. Come on. Yes! That's what we like. Well done, Dom. That's what we need. Well done, lads. Well done. Let's just keep this. Oh, we done well. We controlled it. Good touch. Whacked it into the top corner. It wasn't the top corner at all, but whacked into the net. That's where it counts. Happy days. Two one. Let's look at the stamina levels. We might have to change though. I don't want to take him off. He's a very good captain, but we'll have to change setup. Uh, might have to take off Woods as well, you know, just to reinforce that defence. In some change stage, we might have to change the attacking players, but. We'll keep it as it is for now. Go on, win the ball. Yes, lad. Well done. Well done. Ref pulled him down there. Pulled him down. Is he going to get sent off? Or. No, I think he's just. Uh, just a free kick. Six, six minutes. Oh, yeah. We're making the subs. Uh, hmm, what we're we gonna do with this? Do you know what? If we can pass it to the dude there and have a shot, not the worst, not the worst. Never gonna go in, but oh, we've gone right round there. Come on. There, ball. Go on. Oh, we should have jumped. Why didn't he jump? Win that, lad. Oh, no, he's got done there. He's got absolutely done. Come on, Big Sam. Oh, Big Sam's gave it away. Managed to win it back there. The player that don't usually uh, do very well actually went back. Oh, brilliant. 
push it forward, tap it, go on lad, no, Just didn't control it very well at all there to be honest, I was hoping he pushed it forward a lot more but he just didn't. Oh, why aren't one of our players attack like him back there? Sam there is chucking his feet wherever. Come on, make change. Oh no. Kick it. Well done. Come on. Got took out there and yeah. Is that a second yellow? Surely that is a second yellow, we stop the game. There you go. See you later mate. That's what we want. Get rid of ya. We'll take it. We'll take it. Definitely was a yellow card without doubt. Um Ooh, we've got an issue there where Hudges is actually dark. We're going to have to make a drastic change here. Put McCourt, we probably want to back up the defence, but we're going to have to put him as a centre back and bring on Fantis. He can play as a centre defending midfielder, so hopefully it'll be all right there. A bit of an unusual position to be able to play left back and centre defending midfielder, but we'll take it. Um, I just realised Telford's actually on the wrong side, so hopefully uh, changing him will be able to provide him with a boost. We're just going to fit Rosa. For um, Ndoku. Uh, hopefully, he can just bring a bit more stableness. And I'm going to see the He's just he's running his legs off there, hasn't he, really, to be fair? So we'll change it up just to reinforce it, keep it strong. I mean, we're in a good position. We've got eight minutes left, ten minutes with added time. They're on a red card. We've got a player down on a red card. And it's 2-1 to us, so maybe, maybe we've got a chance here folks to get in the final, our first final, if, oh you know what, could have a good chance here, it's kept hold of it quite well, oh good bit of defending that, good bit of defending, was a foul there, I hope he gets booked for that, Oof, very good defending, very good defending, hopefully we can just cross it in to Dom and he can get a goal. That's a good cross. Oof. Whack it back in. Ah, oh, not good enough. Not good enough. We need to just control this situation now. We need to get it. Uh, ref, he's just kind of fell over there. Yep. Ref's not having it. He just fell over. Couldn't agree more. Just control. Rosa goes for a shot. Ooh. Good save in the end. Good save. What's going? What's fighting to be fair? We've got two minutes left. If we can win the ball here, folks. Should be on for Oh dear. Come on, get it. Just kick it. Oh wait, he's just fell on the floor. He's offside, ref. He's offside. So we're four minutes over on any time. Hopefully, one big kick. And we can just say bye bye to this game and we'll be through. That was one big kick, wasn't it? Wow. There we go, lads. Well done. We're in the final. Can't complain about that. Happy days. Uh. A much better performance. We contained what was on offer there, I think. So we we done well. We done well. Not the best performance that we've seen from ourselves, but it's enough. And that's what we need at this stage. We need it to be enough. So happy days. We can uh we can rest on our laurels and say we've done well. Very good performance by Leighton there as well. Um done with a goal as well of course done really well to him getting in position, done well to control it, and he just tapped it in, can't complain about that, 